All right, so welcome to Stay Home in Zoya. Really excited to see more people joining the hashtag, more people grabbing Zoyas and following um, with our work from home adventures, our social distancing, and uh, being safe, but also learning about cool tech stuff like this. So last night I put up a patch that was heavily reminiscent of a subterranean homesick alien by Radiohead, one of my all time faves. One thing that I started off wanting to do was use a random LFO oscillation, which is a low frequency oscillator, to um, kind of move parameters around on my behalf. And so LFOs can move like a sine wave or a square wave, but I really wanted to do like a random thing. And I decided that maybe I should try and do a random rate tremolo. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through interface modules and choose audio input. And again, I'm coming in left mono, out left mono. So I'm gonna go ahead and on channels, toggle it to left. So there we go. We got an audio in left, and I have to remember to scroll up and say done. Great. So next up on the list, we're gonna use, um, I'm a chorus before dirt kind of guy usually, so we're gonna start with chorus. So I'm gonna go ahead and on the second row, I'm gonna scroll down here to effect modules. And I'm gonna scroll until I see chorus. And then for chorus, one in, one out. Yeah, all this stuff looks good. Those are the parameters I want. So I'm gonna say done, okay? So let's move on now. So because I'm a chorus before dirt guy, I decided that I wanted to put a germanium overdrive next. So that's also in effect modules. And we're gonna go look for overdrive and distortion. And then it's all kind of in one module, but inside of it, you get to choose the model of dirt you want. So there we go. Germanium was the second one. And that's okay. And I'm gonna say done. That's it for that one. Um, next up, I... Then I went for tremolo. Okay, so on the third row, went back into effect modules, and I went browsing for a tremolo, and I used the waveform for fender-ish. So that works. And then for the trem, this is the interesting part. So normally you would set the rate for the peaks and valleys of the sine wave of the trem that you want with the waveform. But in this case, I'm gonna be randomizing the rate. So I'm not gonna worry about what it's set to right now. So next up after tremolo, um, this is where it gets fun. And this is where everything so far you could have really done with a bunch of pedals. But the fact that the Zoya is kind of a development environment means that I can actually use um, programming principles and kind of like synth objects like a LFO, a low frequency oscillator and I can basically drop that in here and attach that oscillator to the rate of the tremolo. So for the LFO, I ended up putting it here because it was just enough room that I needed. And let's go look for, I believe it was control modules, LFO. And there's a bunch of options in here. Um, I think the waveform, instead of a shape, I set it to random. So that way you never know what you're gonna get, which is actually what I was going for. And everything else I believe was standard. Yep, perfect. So there is my LFO. Next up on the third row on the, on the right side, I added a vibrato. So that was starting here. And then I'll go to Effect modules, and let's go find vibrato, there it is, cool. So then, let's scroll down, and all this looks good the way it is, and I'll say done, great. So there's my vibrato, and then for the fourth row, I added that plate reverb, okay? So, in this case, effect modules, Go look for plate reverb. 
Done. And finally, our last effect is going to be the delay with mod that we used in patch one. So for this one, little effects, go find delay with modulation, and all this looks correct. Great. Then the last thing I need now, otherwise I won't hear any sound, is an audio output. So now my input's up here, my out output's up here. This is like the last couple squares I have left. So I pretty much filled this thing chock full with modules. So I'm gonna tap here, go back up to interface modules, go to audio output. Let's connect up these modules, what do you say? So the first one would be my audio input, which has to go to my chorus. So audio input left, there's my chorus, input left, great. So I'm gonna hold that one and tap that one. They're now connected. Now I gotta go find my chorus out. Chorus out's gonna go into my drive. So there's my out left, and then here's my drive, audio in. Those are now linked. Then I'm gonna go find my germanium overdrive uh, output, and then that is gonna go into my tremolo, I believe. So there's my output, and there's my trem. So I'm gonna link those. There's my tremolo out. Tremolo out goes into uh, my vibrato. Yes, so there's tremolo out. There's vibrato right next to each other. Here's vibrato out. So vibrato out is going into my reverb. And I believe that's my reverb. So here's reverb in left and right. So make, make sure to choose the left because we're only using left this time. And here's vibrato out, there we go. And then here is out right and out left. So reverb out left is what I want into the delay in. So there's that. And then, let's see here. And then my delay out is gonna go into my audio out. Wow, there's the signal, it's all connected now. So the last thing I wanna do now is I wanna go find my LFO. And you can see the LFO output is jumping all around because we chose random as the waveform. So now we're gonna to go to the tremolo and the rate is the second green option in. The LFO output is right here. So we're gonna connect that to the rate. All right, let's hear the sounds. Try that now. That's a lot better, so. That's it, that's patch two. Thank you guys for joining, and I'm so encouraged to see everyone else uh, who's been interested in hashtag uh, stay home in Zoya. Everybody stay home, be safe, stay home in Zoya. Join our knowledge quest and contribute some of your Zoya patches, and uh, thanks again for tuning in. It's Edge of Breakup signing off.